Hey everyone, my name is Nick, and if you missed it, Orca Slicer 2.3 Release Candidate is here, and it comes with some great new features and quality of life improvements over the beta release. If you've been following the development, you know that Orca Slicer 2.3 already brought a ton of changes, but this RC update fine tunes things even further. So let's take a quick dive into what's new and see how these latest tweaks improve your 3D printing workflow. One of the biggest quality of life updates in this release is the change to the custom filament profiles. In Orca Slicer 2.3, a new global filament library was introduced, allowing users to access and save filament profiles more easily. But there was a small issue. When users saved custom filament profiles, they became visible to all their printers, even if they weren't compatible. This quickly became annoying when managing multiple printers. Now, in this release candidate, any new custom filament profiles derived from the system profiles will be automatically set to visible only for the selected printer model. Of course, if you want to manually adjust the compatibility of your profiles, you can still do so in the filament settings menu. This change just removes unnecessary clutter when switching between multiple printers. And I must say this is a great move by the Orca team. The new quality of life feature, the auto perspective view, is a small but really useful improvement, especially if you come from Blender or any other 3D modeling software. Now when you click the top, bottom, left, right, front, or back views of the 3D navigator or switch to those views using the menu or shortcuts, the camera will automatically switch to the orthogonal view. But here's the cool part. As soon as you move the view away from these fixed angles, the camera will automatically switch back to perspective view. This makes navigating and inspecting models much smoother, especially when aligning objects. By default, this feature is turned off, but you can enable it from the view menu if you prefer this feature. This update also fixes a couple annoying bugs related to the 3D Navigator. So previously, when clicking on the top and bottom view, the orientation could sometimes be incorrect. Now it's always aligned correctly no matter how you select the view. If you've ever dragged the 3D Navigator vertically past its limit, it will sometimes cause the view to flip erratically. And this is something that I've noticed a couple of times. That's now fixed, making the camera movements much more stable. While this RC release isn't packed with massive new features, there were over 40 additional fixes included. These small refinements make a big difference in how smoothly Orca Slicer works, especially if you're frequently switching between printers or filament profiles. If you want to try out the new release candidate, you can download it from the official GitHub page. Keep in mind that while RC versions are close to final, there still might be some minor bugs before the full 2.3 stable release drops. I'll be testing out these updates and will keep you posted on any more improvements that come along. Let me know in the comments below if you're trying out this update and what you think about these new features. Oh, and if you missed it, I also released a video on the beta version, and you can check that out here. I hope you're having a great day, and as always, happy printing.